the iPhone 11 was released in 2019, and being a four years old phone it's still a decent performer for anyone on a budget at around $1,500. The iPhone 11 was the last main iPhone to employ the curved body, but it still feels premium. However being the same size as the XR, it's quite hefty in size and weight. It also uses the same LCD display on the XR, which was heavily criticized at that time. But I'm still content with it, as I still find the colors accurate and vibrant in today's standards. Albeit the bezels are quite noticeable. The real problem is when you take it outside. Reflections are so apparent on the display you'd often need to max out the brightness to make anything legible. The speakers are also better than expected. It's a duo firing setup from the bottom of the phone and on the earpiece. It offers rich surround sound but lack deep bass. The A13 Bionic SoC on board is a 7 nanometers architecture and it's still very smooth with lots of apps running on iOS 17 with just for gigabytes of RAM. It may not be as snappy as newer models, but it's still receiving updates and will continue to do so for the next couple of years for future proofing. It only really shows its age when playing AAA games where it has to dial down some details to maintain consistent frame rates. The camera performs surprisingly well for 2024. Normally smartphone in this era have serious trouble with dynamic range but the iPhone 11 is able to extract light on darker areas under these contrasting situations. Resulting well-balanced photos, albeit too bright for my liking. The 4G modem armboard is also pretty slick. There's no lag or latency in streaming high-res media via mobile data. Neither is there problem on downloading apps. Battery capacity is now on 86% after 4 years of use. However, there are no signs of degradation. I comfortably get around a day and a half before it hits the 20% warning. With all things considered, the iPhone 11 has aged very well and is perfect for anyone who needs an iPhone on tight budget as it is still plenty capable to satisfy your needs. The narration in this video is made using Microsoft's ClipChamp's own AI software. Let me know if you prefer this instead of my own voice for future videos.